The National Police Association backs GOA. Let's go ahead and talk about it. What up, guys, and welcome back to my little piece of paradise known as John Crump News. I will be your host for today. My name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist, and I keep an eye on 2A issues. If you can do me a major favor, like, comment, and subscribe, it means everything to me, and it helps get my message out to the masses. Today, we are brought to you by our friends at JSD Supply. JSD Supply is your one-stop shop for everything that you need to complete your build. They sell the MUP1, which is based on the popular SIG P320 frame. They sell Polymer 80s and Patmos slides, barrels, and parts kits. Check them out at JSD Supply, and for a limited time, you can use code CRUMP and get $10 off your order above $100 and free shipping. Check them out at JSD Supply. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the Gun Owners of America case in New York. If you are not aware, a Ukrainian immigrant named Ivan Antonyuk and GOA teamed up to see New York over their concealed carry laws. New York tried to pass all these laws known as the Concealed Carry Improvement Act to try to get around Bruin. They lost in the New York Pistol Rifle Association versus Bruin case, which said that they have to become shall issue. So instead of just doing what the Supreme Court said, they went ahead and passed these laws that kind of violate the Supreme Court's decision. I will give you one example. The Supreme Court said certain places can be designated as sensitive areas. These places include schools and government buildings, but you cannot declare a place a sensitive area just because people gather there. And that's exactly what New York did. New York claimed that Times Square is a sensitive area, and why? Because people gather there, which is a direct violation of Bruin. And Mr. Antonyuk actually had more rights before Bruin passed. You see, Antonyuk had what's called a unrestricted concealed carry license. So basically, he can carry anywhere. There's also restricted carry license that says you can only carry while hunting, but Mr. Antonyuk had an unrestricted license, so he can carry basically any time that he chose. But under the Concealed Carry Improvement Act, Mr. Antonyuk cannot carry in very many places. You cannot carry in a private business unless that private business puts up signs saying that you're allowed to carry. You cannot carry in parks. You cannot carry at permitted events. You cannot carry basically anywhere. So Mr. Anthony Young sued. He not only sued over the restrictions to where he can carry at, he sued over the new training regime. The new training regime requires a lot more training than what is currently required, which would put a bigger burden on Mr. Antonyuk and other people renewing their concealed carry licenses. So he sued with GOA and now the National Police Association, also known as the MPA, have filed an amicus brief. Some of the things in the amicus brief or amicus brief, if you want, states that criminals do not commit crimes when police are around and that gun owners have to be their own first responders. They also say that the CCIA is making a mockery of the Bruin decision. It states that the CCIA is a direct response to Bruin. The amicus brief took a shot at the good moral character clause of the CCIA. Before the CCIA and before Bruin, there was a proper cause in New York's concealed carry laws. They just replaced that with good moral character now, which is kind of ridiculous. The amicus brief goes after the good moral character clause of the CCIA. Before Bruin, they had the proper need clause of the concealed carry permits. 
But now that they cannot do that, they just replaced it with good moral character, which you have to turn over three years of social media records, which the amicus brief calls a violation of the First Amendment, and it is. The people who look at the concealed carry permits get to decide if your post are showing that you are of good moral character. If you support Donald Trump, maybe you're not of good moral character. That is what the judge decides. But that should not be the case, and the amicus brief lays out that it shouldn't be. It also says that good police are opposed to a police state, which I thought was really, really cool. The amicus brief says that the whole CCIA is making a mockery of the Bruin decision, which it is. This is good that law enforcement is backing up GOA. Hopefully more cops will back up GOA in their case against New York's draconian unconstitutional gun laws. All right, that's it for today. I love you very much. Stay ever vigilant. Stay ever free. Keep in the fight. I am out of here. Wolverine's motherfucker.